junction diode as a rectifier. If an alternating voltage is applied across a diode in series with a load, a pulsating voltage will appear across the load only during the half cycles of the AC input during which the diode is forward biased. Such rectifier circuit as shown is called a half wave rectifier. Half wave rectifier. In the half wave rectifier circuit, only one diode is used. When the voltage at terminal A is positive, the diode is forward biased and it conducts. There is a current through the load resistor RL and we get an output voltage as shown. When the voltage at terminal A is negative, the diode is reverse biased and it does not conduct. Reverse saturation current is negligible. Total voltage appears across diode. No voltage appears across RL. Reverse breakdown voltage must be sufficiently higher than the peak AC voltage at the secondary of the transformer. The output voltage is restricted to only one direction and is said to be rectified. Full wave rectifier The circuit using two diodes shown in figure gives output rectified voltage corresponding to both the positive as well as negative half of the AC cycle. During the positive half cycle of AC, the terminal A is positive and the terminal B is negative with respect to the center tap T. The diode D1 is forward biased and conducts current. Diode D2 is reversed biased and does not conduct. During negative half cycle, the end B becomes positive with respect to the center tap. The diode D2 is forward biased and D1 is reverse biased. During both half cycles of input AC, the current through load RL flows in the same direction, X to Y. This is a more efficient circuit for getting rectified voltage or current than the half wave rectifier. Filter circuits Output from a junction diode rectifier is unidirectional but pulsating. We can say the output has both AC and DC components. We can obtain DC voltage by filtering out AC components. Shunt capacitor filter Capacitor has a reactance of Xc is equal to 1 upon 2 pi Fc. A high capacitance C offers a low impedance path to the high frequency AC component. AC component is bypassed through C and smooth DC voltage appears across load RL.